Hey, what's happening, everybody? This your man, the Leather Cowboy, Robert D. Muhammad, right here, Premier Leather Crafters, in the dirty, dirty. You know, so uh, I'm getting a lot of hits and a lot of responses off of the videos, the small projects that can create and generate you a lot of bank. So you guys stay right here with me because I am going to give you more of those videos. Now, a lot of these videos that I do, uh, or the, a lot of the small projects that I make for these videos are basically just scrap leather. Stuff that you have left over because you already know that leather crafters don't throw away any leather because at some point in time you can find something to use to make that, uh, something to use that leather for and make something out of it. So that's where we're going with these small projects that can create a lot of bank. And man, do I have a good, another good one for you. So here we go. Let's get off into this. Uh, let me give you a quick story. Uh, you guys also know that I do a, I have the podcast plugged in to where I teach small business entrepreneurs how to expand and uh, grow and build their business through the platforms of social media that can create you a lot of money also. Now, uh, I've been doing this leather crafting thing since 1995. And let me turn this radio off. I like the blues, man. The blues is where it's at, you know, especially being from down south, nothing like the blues. Nothing like the blues, it just puts you in a zone, you know, the storylines and all of that. Okay, so um, what happened was uh, I, I do the podcast plugged in that you guys can subscribe to for free on any, wherever you are listening to your podcast from. So definitely tune in if you are a business person or if you're doing this for business and you want to make a lot of money doing it and you can move your products through the platforms of social media. I teach all the time, you don't have to do the websites. You don't have to get a traditional brick and mortar store. If anything that COVID, as bad as COVID-19 was at, uh, at the beginning of 2020, Leather crafters who have transitioned their business over to the platforms of social media never lost a dollar. Trust me, family, you can move more through the platforms of social media. But anyway, you guys tune into that plugged in where I teach uh, leather crafters like yourself as well as other uh, business entrepreneurs who don't do leather work how you can generate and make a passive income through the platforms of social media. Now, let's get to this. Because uh, th this is part of that story. I was shooting the podcast uh, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, I went to put my headphones on. And they broke. You guys can see they broke. So what I did was, uh, after I repaired the, the uh, I put a little metal strip over the top of the band. Where it goes over your head to reinforce that. Because it was just plastic. Uh, and you guys can see with that it was just this part here. Uh, make sure you get the light on there. So I reinforced that and put a little metal band strip that a friend of mine works at a, uh, a steel company uh, where they make car parts. And the, the steel cores that are shipped to that company, they, they, tight, they hold those cores together with a little metal band. So I told him, hey, give me one of those metal bands, man, because I know they just throw the stuff away. Another jewel, and I'm going to drop this real quick. Keep your relationships good with the people in your circle because they have access to uh, equipment or scrap stuff that you can use in your business. Now, because I'm going to show you guys another video to where, if you remember the old uh, police slappers, they was very popular uh, in the New York, Philadelphia area with the old police. The police used to carry the slappers. Now, some states check your laws because they are highly illegal. <laughs> uh, they are very illegal. But for those people who want an alternative to uh, um, guns, you know, they don't like guns, but you want to uh, protect yourself in self-defense. Now, you can get these slappers. Now, this is also some scrap pieces that were cut from uh, the project at this same steel company. And I just got about three of them. But this is going to be a future project, a future video that I'm going to do for you guys where I'm going to show you how to make these leather slappers. 
So they are strictly for self-defense, you know, especially when you're in close quarters and uh, you, or for those people who don't want to use a gun, you can use the slappers. Now they will break bones, which breaking bones is better because you can get a cast and heal and then, but you just want to get away from the assailant. But anyway, uh, that's another video. Y'all stay tuned for that one. Uh, but I took that metal band and I got some snips and cut it down to the size of my headphones. And I really just wanted to repair the part to where it broke. So uh, we came back with some contact cement. Uh, and you guys know that I am a Wellwood fan. Uh, go, you can get this stuff from Walmart. It's like $7.46 as opposed to the barges that you can buy or the barge contact cement. Uh, you can get that stuff from your, your local leather crafter store, but you're going to pay double that price for bars. And in some states, well, um, actually, I think in all states, they will not ship the barge. So you have to go to that leather supply store and buy it, which that's costing you money because you're away from your shop to go pick up some contact cement. But every city just about in America has a Wally World, a Walmart. And you can go right down to Walmart and get the same. I think Wellwood is better. Plus, it's a bigger container. And this one is actually a 16 ounce. And I use this stuff. There's a brand new can because I'm almost out. And you can run right down to Walmart and get that uh, at Wellwood. Uh, get that at Walmart. Get the Wellwood Contact Cement. Wellwood Contact Cement. Let me show you guys what that looks like. So you can get that. And this stuff works great for leather crafting, especially if you're bonding two pieces together. Now, let's get back to this video. Because this is going to be another fun, small project that you can make a lot of money off of. And I'm going to tell you where, how this is going to work. Uh, after, so when I repaired these... I went ahead and I put the, the metal strip on there to reinforce it, to give it a little bit more strength. Uh, and we got the contact cement on there, so that's been drying. We're going to let that dry for about 24 hours overnight just to make sure that it actually holds and bonds again without any slipping or moving at, uh, on the headphones. But now I'm going to tell you what you can do. And this would be right in time for the Christmas holidays right in time for the Christmas holidays. Now you are targeting two groups of uh, uh, potential customers. You are targeting your gamers, the people who do online gaming, which there are a lot, a lot of gamers out there. Now, nobody has the old Walkmans anymore, like from my time, from my days, uh, back in the, the late 80s, the 90 era. But you have a lot of people sometimes who, uh, when they're working out, they're exercising. Um, and, you know, they do have the uh, uh, iPad, the, the i, the uh, what they call the little things that you download your music to, uh, whatever that little device is. But you can plug your headphones into that, and then you can listen to your headphones while you're working out. That's another target audience group uh, for your people who work out and for your people who are gamers. Now, there's also a third party. All of your DJs, your disc jockeys, uh, people who spin the records, or they don't even do records anymore, CDs and whatnot. So your club DJs and things like this, this is your target audience. Now, what I'm going to do to this, once this dries, I am going to cover these headphones in leather. We're going to put a nice leather wrap on there. I already have it cut out and I just typed in the name of my, my podcast, Plugged In. Again, that's the name of the podcast, Plugged In, wherever you uh, watch your podcast or listen to your podcast at. You can just type that in. Uh, I'm on all podcast platforms right now. Uh, and we're going to sew this together. And I'm just playing around with this because I want to see how it's going to actually come out together. Now, there's two things that I have in mind that I want to do. Uh, you can go in and just stitch this together. Being that uh, I'm not selling this, I'll probably just stitch this and save on my lace, on my lacing. But what I'm suggesting to you guys out there who want to make money from this, you can purchase some headphones. 
Now, I recommend that you go to places like Five Below where you can get the headphones for five bucks. You're not spending a whole lot of money because that's not where you're gonna make the money from, but you are adding that cost into the cost of your work. And then you will cut out some nice strips. About, uh, I'm gonna give you guys the measurements on these. This is actually uh, eight and a half inches long. Eight and a half inches long which even on your standard headphones your standard headphones that you're buying from five below uh you can also get these at any uh you can find some headphones at any thrift store maybe for a dollar or two now five below is five bucks but you do know that they are brand new headphones and they do work so this is eight and a half inches almost eight and three quarters almost nine eight and three quarters long and it is uh two inches wide that's all you need, and this again, family, is out of leftover uh, veg tan leather. Now, this veg tan is about 1.5 to 2 ounce. It's enough to stamp in, or enough to tool, and enough to carve. So you have some leeway and play areas right there with this particular piece. Now, I suggest go and buy you five sets of headphones. Spend 25 bucks on there. And if you have some 1.5 to 2 ounce if you uh, leather left over, then you already have this. Uh, it's already been paid from previous projects. If you guys are selling them, they're previous projects. You have some that's left over. I have enough left over from wallets, purses, or uh, whatever have you, liners on belts. Uh, you have a lot left over. And that's all that it takes. Eight and three quarters on the length, uh, two inches wide. And you don't just have to stamp. You can stamp and tool. So if you want them to be, I say do them uh, two inches wide. That's enough to where it's not wide on the head. But if you really want to step out there and really make some money and you really want to invest in the project, uh, quite naturally, the uh, Beats by Dre headphones are still top of the line headphones. Uh, you can find them on places like Amazon. Or you can uh, find them uh, basically uh, at Best Buy and places like this if you really want to get out there and really make some money. But if I was to market and sell these, I, again, I would get my $5 back from the headphones that I purchased. And just to do the work, depending on how much time I have into the work would determine how much I will be asking for these headphones. So I would say a nice base price, base price for some custom head, uh, custom leather headphones. Uh, you can start them around about 40 bucks, 30, 35 to 40 bucks, depending on your skill level also. Now, and you can do a whole host of different things with these. Uh, if you're just gonna do some uh, regular stamping work, then you're not gonna stay with that $30, 30 to, to $29.99 to $39.99 range. And that's just basic stamp work because you can stamp those out very quick. Uh, now, if you're getting up into carving and doing some uh, really eccentric work on there, then I would start that around the $44.99 range, and that can go up to about uh, $64.99. And you can get really creative, especially if you're doing painting or if you're doing double X lacing. Now, that was what I originally had in my mind to do the double X lacing on these, uh, head, these wrapped headphones. And just to really make them pop and look good. But again, they're for me. So I wasn't going to waste any lace just on myself. And I might change my mind. I still haven't made my decision up yet. But as of right now, I've already punched the holes just for to stitch and lace these. And you can uh, lace these with just regular uh, wax thread and do a simple uh, saddle stitch. And just get them on out the way. Something that you can do real quick. But these, these are, are, again, they are nice, fun, small, fun projects that can generate and create you a lot of bank. Now, if you guys haven't or, or are not following me on my social media platforms, I encourage you to go to Premier Leather Crafters on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. And you can follow me on any of those platforms. And there is where I will post up the finished 
products on these. Uh, now, and this is just going to be something simple. I'm just going to do a basic black and maybe paint the uh, the letters just so they can stand out because I will be having these on the uh, podcast. So uh, if you guys are actually, if you want to go ahead and rewatch some of the other episodes about uh, how you can take your business from this point to the next level, which do not sleep on social media marketing. As a business uh, owner and as an entrepreneur, this is the wave of the future for all leather crafters. Now, let me jump this in here real quick. There are a lot. There are a lot of leather crafters, especially if you're just starting out. I want you guys to keep this in mind. There are scores of leather crafters that are better than me. And I want you to know this first from me. I am not the best leather crafter there is. There are scores that are better than me. They have been doing this a lot longer than me, and they have a, a good staple in the business. Some are still living legends in this game. But the difference is, family, I took my business to social media. So while, while they are waiting, and a lot of them have brick and mortar stores where they still wait for people to come in and a lot ship to other places because of the name that they've carried in their business. But what took me to the next level was I put my business under the new paradigm of how to do business. This is what has made me successful. And this is what has made me to the point to where I can live life on my own terms and I ship products all over the world just like those and i haven't been in the game as long as them but my name and my product is steady ranking and moving up the ladder um uh, first thing that's another thing i want to thank you guys for subscribing and following the channel because uh, uh we've already hit over a thousand subscribers and we have oh well over well over 10,000. I think it's, uh, the last time I checked was 13 hours of watch time in the last 12 months. So thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for supporting the Leather Cowboy at Premier Leather Crafters in the Dirty Dirty. Now, I've got to get back to work. And you guys already know, I'm going to get back to the blues as well. Because this is where it is. And this is just how we do so, hey, whatever you do when you're in your shop or when you're working, let me smile this again. Whatever you do, uh, make sure you just have fun with your projects. Don't overthink it. You don't have to do a whole lot of extra stuff. Sometimes, family, simplicity is best. Sometimes simplicity is best. So if you're going to go with these, and I'm, again, if you're going to target those audiences of the gamers and the people who work out and the DJs and things like that, join those pages on social media. You know, you're not joining to get elf in the playing the games, or you're not joining the the uh, music industry to start cutting records and all of this kind of stuff like this. But you want to be able to promote your product, promote your brand on these platforms, and once you post these to those pages then you just sit back and you wait for all of those to come in and say they like it they want it hey that's cool hey how can i get a pair of these and then you start promoting what you do small fun projects and these can make you a lot of bank so if just to say for instance if you bought 25 of those uh not 25 but if you bought five of those at 25 bucks and you have scrap leather that's already been paid for, and you're reselling these anywhere from $34.99 to $64.99. I think I said $29.99, depending on if you're stamping or if you're carving or if you're tooling, whatever you're doing. But from $30, you have a $25 profit per headphone. Now, if you got five of those, Five of those, that's $125 that you just put into your bank and you got prop, prop, product that's out there in the universe. And now when somebody, when one of their friends see it, hey, that's cool. Hey, where did you get that from? Now you guys see 
how the money starts to come in. I guarantee you, family, when you promote, start marketing and promoting that piece, people are going to start hitting you up through social media. Now, the way you would have to prepare yourself now is now you're going to have to start getting your mind in the frame of, hey, I need to sit, take a designate one day just to do custom headphones. And you can paint, you can dye, you can do a whole lot of different stuff to these. You can even actually, on the, the earphone part here, you can actually take a piece of leather and contact cement that, and you can design this part as well. You can do so much, family, with uh, just in the headphone business, and I'm telling you, there are a lot of customers out there for you. I am the Leather Cowboy, Robert D. Muhammad, right here at Premier Leather Crafters in the Dirty Dirty. You guys keep crafting, keep having fun with it, and expand, expand your mind and your thinking. This is not just a game anymore for, for belts and wallets and purses and, and the Western stuff. It's not just a game for that anymore. This game, this leather world has expanded a whole lot. A whole lot. You guys stay tuned. I'll see you on the other side with the next video uh, about the, uh, the, the slappers. That is going to be a great video. You guys stay tuned. All right, peace.